Hey guys, this is episode two of Illustrator for Beginners. If you guys haven't watched episode one, I suggest doing so right now before you guys watch this. And that's in the description of this video. You guys will see the link. Anyways, let's just get started. I'm just gonna make a new file. So command N to get started. And we're gonna pick, in this case, web. Under web, we're gonna make something that's around your screen size. So 1920 by 1080, it doesn't really matter. At this point, we're not going to add bleeds or trim marks. That's because this is for web. So we're just going to put create. So right here we have our artwork. We're just going to press command and then minus to zoom out. All right. And then I'm just going to put this on the side. What I want you guys to do is go to window that's up here and then workspace and just pick essentials if you guys don't have that already. Okay. It's just because I want everybody to be at the same thing as me. So I'm actually going to reset essentials just because I want everybody to be at the same thing. And then we're going to bring up stuff. Okay. So we're going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Essentials. Perfect. So what we're going to do today is show you a little bit about shapes just because we did that already. So, but I want to show you a few tricks. So let's say the star. So let's pick the star right here. If you, right click on it, you guys will see the star. So we can do that. Okay, for shapes, and let's create a star. So we have the star right now. And before I let go of my mouse, so I'm holding this, okay, before I let go with the arrow keys, you guys can go up and down. That way you guys can add more points to your star or less points. So a lot of people ask me, how do you guys make this a triangle? Well, this is how to make it this is the easy way to make it. Okay, so don't let go of your mouse. Okay, when you're making it, and then just add in. So this is up your up arrow and then down arrow. So your down arrow will make less and less and then up arrow will make more 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 more. So let's say you guys want something like this, like a sun, for example, let go. And there you go. So you can do that with a start. And I want to show you guys that because that's your next step into your shapes. Okay, something that sometimes people miss out on. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. And that, that was just one more thing that I wanted to show you guys before we go on with everything else. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at masking. And that's because that's really basic and we need to do that for sure when you're handling Illustrator. So let's say you guys have an image. So right here we have an image. Just drag any image for your background. I'm going to drag it right here on top of here. So, and I do a lot of dragging. I, I usually don't import or copy and paste and all that. I drag, drag, drag just because it makes it easier. So I want to keep the proportions of this image, but I don't want to distort it. Because right now, if I drag this bottom part and I make it like this to fill out the space on my artboard, it's going to distort it, right? And we don't want that. We want to keep it as is. So what we're going to do is press shift and then drag one of these corners to the edge to fill up our artboard. So if you guys want to see our artboard, it's right here. And we can see that it's filled up, right? However, yes, it's kind of annoying that you guys can't see exactly what's on your artboard. You guys also see the image, right? So at this point, what I'm going to teach you is masking. What masking is going to do is going to fit everything to the space that we want it to be at. So to show you exactly what that is, we're going to select a rectangle, for example. So that's right here, just the shape. Okay, so again, I'm just going right here. I'm selecting a rectangle tool and I'm going to create the shape of my artboard. So here's my artboard. I'm going to go over my artboard just a little bit because I always like to go over it just by a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to select this rectangle that I made. I'm going to select the image. I'm going to press command seven. That's going to mask this. Okay. That's command seven. Okay. Once you guys do that, you guys saw that it just masked it on. So I didn't crop the image. It's non-destructive. And then I can move the image around if I want to. That's inside of here. So if I, if you guys double click, you guys can kind of see the image that's taking up this space right now. If I click out, there we go. It's just this, right? So if I want to move the image within it, I can just select this arrow here. Remember I was talking to you guys about the direct selection tool. So that's right here and that's a, okay. So if we select that one, I'm going to zoom out again. Okay. 
we can actually select the image itself and just move that image within that frame, okay, within our masking. So if I go within it, you guys can see that, okay? So I can do that. So we can do a lot with this, actually. So I'm going to select this tool again, right here, okay? So that's our selection tool. That's V on your keyboard. And I'm going to do is select this. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, so I just got rid of everything. I'm going to import the image again. It's just because I want to show you guys this again and a little bit more complicated. So let's say you guys have the image. Again, I'm going to make it bigger. And let's say you guys have a star. So let's select the star tool. Let's make a star with way less of these guys. I made way, way, way too many angles right there. I just want a simple star. So there we go. What I'm going to do is fill up the star with any color. It doesn't really matter what fill because we're doing masking again. So it doesn't matter if you guys fill it up with something. So there's my fill. And again, I'm going to click on the star plus my background, command seven to mask it. And there we go. So you guys can see that, right? So what I'm going to do is double click inside the star. Okay. Click again. So you guys see this. And then you guys can move this around. Now, it's annoying that you can't see the star, right? Well, if you guys click less times, let me just click out of there. So if you click up to this point, then you guys can move this around, like I just taught you. And then you can place this exactly where you guys want. So let's say I want it right there. Now let's say you guys want to add some text into the star, but you guys want to make sure it's inside the star. So again, we're going to click like crazy until we get to the image itself and then we're going to add some text onto it so just select your text tool that's right here okay we're going to just click and then type in tech and design we're going to select it command a well we don't really have to do that just put our selection tool hold shift drag this out to make this bigger there we go and then click out click out again, you guys will see the text there. So again, we want to move that text around. So we can move it right there. As you guys can see, it's always within that star. So wherever I move it, it's always within that star. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool trick. It's something that you guys are going to use for sure. Masking is something that everybody does. And something that everybody likes to do with masking is use that masking in order to fill in your text. So I'm going to show you how that's done. So let me just put this on the side. So what we're going to do in this case, we're going to bring in, again, the same image. Okay, this works with any image, by the way, it can be a PNG, JPEG, doesn't really matter. We're going to make it smaller in this case, because we don't need it to be that big. I'm just going to set it here. Let's just put this outside the artboard because we don't need it. I just want you guys to focus on this for now. And we're gonna write in some text. So again, tech and design. In this case, we're gonna make it bold. So right here on your right hand side, you guys can mess around with your characters. So I'm gonna make this bold condensed. Sure, why not? We're just gonna keep it as is. I don't wanna mess around with this too much because don't need to waste your time doing that. You guys can mess around with all the text and fonts that you guys want. So we're going to make this bigger, 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 bigger. All right. And this looks the best when it's bold. I'm also going to mess around with the kerning, select that text. And then right here on the side, you guys will see the tracking. I'm going to close it off. Okay. So I'm going to make the tracking or kerning. Well, kerning is between two letters, tracking is before the whole thing. And we're going to make that tighter. Okay. So I'm going to hit that arrow. I just want to show you what's going to happen when I do that. So you guys will see that it gets tighter and tighter space between each letter for the whole thing. Okay, so that's something that's good to know. Because sometimes you guys have to fix that up. And yeah, it's important. So we're going to zoom out. I'm going to click out. There we go. Let's just get back into this thing. And right now we're going to do some masking. So right now if you guys select your text plus your background, hit Command 7. You guys will see this. So you see this in a lot of magazines. If I want to expand this out, I can just select it. Again, shift and then doing this. 
I'm always holding shift so this doesn't get screwed up. I don't want to distort that text or the image in any way. So I can make this bigger. Okay, and again, you guys can mess around with the back and then move it around like I just taught you with the shapes. But that's how you guys do this type of thing. And people do that all the time. If you guys want to edit anything from within your shape or within this, you guys can always do that. So I can just click. And what I don't like about masking is that, yes, the fastest way is actually to click like crazy until you get there. There's obviously other ways where you can see everything, but that's annoying. So I'm going to go over that way later on. So I'm going to delete this for now. I'm going to make this smaller, for example. So there we go. I can make it smaller. I can duplicate this thing just by holding my option and then dragging and then drag it and then drag it again. Okay, I'll teach you a way to make patterns later on and a little bit more advanced stuff about copying and pasting. Again, later, I just want to cover the basics first. So this is the basics for masking. That's something that you guys for sure are going to use. And something else that you guys want to make sure, always, always go into effects, document raster effects. So I did cover this in the first episode and make sure your images are 150 at least. You guys don't really want it at 72 even if it's for your screen okay so just make sure and that's for screen and like I said in my first episode you guys do want this to be at 300 if you guys are gonna print it out and if you guys are gonna print it out most likely not RGB but CMYK again that's episode one so I won't go over that again anyways this is it for episode two I want you guys to play around with this and then we're gonna get on with episode three I wanted to make this one short and sweet so you guys can get the hang of masking. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.